What's your name, comment, and a question? Hi, it's Bobby. Bobby, always and, a pleasure, uh, man. What's up? Great, great, great show tonight. You know, I um, I had an epiphany about a year ago. I was I was living in an apartment, and over two years they raised around fifty percent. I do some researching into the apartment. It's owned by BlackRock, you know, by a shell corporation. So, so I had this thing, right? I work for a multinational corporation. Mm -hmm. I pay rent to live in a multinational corporation. I pay medical insurance to a massive corporation. It, it seems to me we're reverting back to feudalism, <laughs> right? Where, where serfs and mm -hmm. landlords, and I, I emphasize the lord, Purchase politicians. You know, there's a politician back in Cruz. There's a politician back in... My son's having a little explosion. He's rebelling against feudalism, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I understand. But, um, and the thing with... You know, the thing with Bernie Sanders, right? He's, 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 he's going to take us hard to the left. Not just, like, incrementally to the left. And I think that's what we need here, where the capitalistic system is reverting back to feudalism. And it's a, it's a one-way ticket... So we, you know, just like FDR, a lot of people credit with saving capitalism from itself. Right. I think we need to push that reset button. And what if Bernie wins? What he'll start, you know, maybe someone else can continue to the left mm -hmm. just to get back to center. Just to get back to center. The, Bobby, just that's, to get back to center. That's, 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 that's absolutely the case. Let me pick it up right there. Thanks so much for the call, man. Um, I have to agree with you on this because I've said this on the show and I'm going to say it again. Uh, then I'm going to give everybody the last word. We're going to have to tackle um, – um, Joy Ann Reed tomorrow. Actually, I'm, I'm probably tomorrow. I may have H. A. Goodman on the show uh, because the um, the uh, the tweets that we're talking about and the exchange and the article uh, was an article written by H. A. Goodman and um, and he actually went into it with uh, Joy Ann Reed. Uh, so we may pick that up tomorrow when I have Joy Ann Reed. And actually, we're also going to try to reach out to someone to. Uh, I shouldn't even start at that one. Anyway, let me stop that one. Um, but I, I said this, and then I'm going to throw it to you guys. Um, we, the system, this capitalistic system, gets our entire life's labor. We work all of our life, and not only does it get our labor, but it gets the capital that our labor creates, right? We end up spending all of our money, all of our life. So they get our labor, and they get our life, or they, they get our capital, and we die, most of us die with nothing. So it is it is sharecropping. That's that's what a lot of us are doing. We're simply working to pay our bills and we don't even realize it. And and all we're doing is is we're saying that that even if we took a hard shift like like Bobby just said to the left, we would only be coming back to the center of the political economic spectrum um, in which we live in the United States of America. <clears throat> all right, guys, I'm throwing it to you guys for the last word. Um, let's let's hope a Noah, a Noah. Let's Earlier, we need to talk to people. Talk to people like they're people. I'm going to just keep saying it. Watch your tone. We don't need to have a kumbaya session. We don't need a truth and reconciliation, you know, despite what, what Hillary was saying last night. We just need to talk to people. Like, we all have the same struggles. We all raise families. We're all in our communities and stuff. We all live, work, and breathe, eat, die. You know what I'm saying? So just talk to people. I mean, so that's it. Good night. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Solomon, last words. Yep. Uh, last words would be uh, one, just an update note. Remember, the racial justice week continues. Their tomorrow is going to be my favorite topic: um, racial inequality, the difference between uh, how the economy has been affected for uh, blacks versus whites, and the, the statistics that go with that. Um, uh, an argument I think people can use against electability is the double standard. And I don't know if this ties into Joy and Reed, so maybe I shouldn't say it now. But the arg the, the difference between the media what the media demands of Bernie and what the media demands of Hillary Clinton, because there's this conception that Hillary Clinton gets is tough and Bernie doesn't get vetted at all, and it's really the opposite. It's really so I, I really want to, like, the fact that Bernie was demanded that he release his universal health care plan before Iowa, because the voters need to know. But Hillary Clinton has said she has a single, she supports universal health care now, which she didn't a few months ago, but she does now but doesn't have a plan out for universal health care, and no one in the media, no Joanne Reed, no Chris Matthews, no no one on CNN is demanding that she release what this universal health care plan is, that she that apparently is so good that unlike Sanders' plan, which is going to cause a contentious debate, it's going to be so amazing mm -hmm. that the Republicans aren't even going to debate her on it, even though it's Hillary Clinton. They're just going to be like, wow, I know it's Hillary Clinton, and we hate her more than we hate, I don't know, like an a inter interracial gay couple. But <laughs> this plan is just so good that we can't debate it. We, we just got to pass it. Gay vote. 
<laughs> that, okay. <laughs> All right. Um, D- Del and Darius on Twitter, right? Yeah. Twitter and Tumblr, Del and Darius. Del, Del and Darius. All right. You guys follow him. Follow Noah. Uh, Miss No No. Uh, I shouldn't even try it, right? I'll tweet. I'll tweet everyone's name out. I don't have any nice words. You guys know who I am. You know what we do, and you know where to find us, folks. We'll see you next time. This has been the Benjamin Dixon Show with my special guest, host, co-host. I, I don't really, I don't believe in co-hosts, but if I did. It would be. I'm pretty time. sure you approved her to be the co-host. So I don't know. I don't know where I was, that came from. I was, was going to say if I if I did believe in co-host, it would be uh, it would be a Noah and Solomon. So hey, folks, you guys have a great correspondence. We're happy to be correspondents. It's good. Thank you, guys. I'm trying to tell y'all I like you know. Okay. Hey, see you guys later. All right. Take it easy. The Benjamin. Oh.